In this video, I'm going to show you how to record a narrated video lecture in both PowerPoint and in Keynote, which is the Mac equivalent of PowerPoint. Since I record most of my video lectures in Keynote, I'm actually going to begin there. What you're seeing here on the screen is one of the previous lectures, the History of Fandom Studies video that I produced. And I'll just give you a quick look at um, all of the content that's here. If you don't realize it whenever you're watching these, oftentimes they're like 10, 15, I think the longest one I've produced for your class is 20 minutes, but there is a, a lot of scripting and uh, work that goes into it. So every single element in, for instance, this slide has an animation, every single image, this one, this one, and this one. I had the background removed via Photoshop. Uh, you don't have to do that level of work and you don't have to script it out this much, but I'm just giving you some tips and tricks. So we're gonna start here. Build your visuals, including images and text and animations or transitions or anything like that. Then if you want to write out a loose set of notes or as I prefer, as you can see here down at the bottom, a script, um, you can click view and then you'll go down to, mine says hide presenter notes. I'll show you what it looks like. So you click show presenter notes, and then that will provide you with these notes here. Write out notes or script, as I often like to include little cues for when animations or slide builds happen, and that will keep you coordinated and on schedule and on task. So once you've built your slideshow and you've got your notes organized, you can record your slideshow by clicking play up at the top and then go down to record slideshow. Here in the slideshow recording interface, you can see your volume or your input. Generally speaking, you wanna make sure that you're not getting into the red right there. See how when I'm speaking very loudly and close to the microphone that I have, it may clip or distort. You wanna generally keep that in the yellow and green area. So adjust your input or volume to, to help that. On the left, we have our current slide. And on the right, you have a preview of the upcoming slides or build animations that you're gonna be having come in as you click or advance. And then down below that is the set of presenter notes that you've created for yourself. To start recording, click the red recording button there. Then you're gonna wait for the three second countdown as you can see on the screen there. And then start speaking. You can advance your slides either by clicking the space bar or the right arrow. You can also retreat or go back by pressing the left arrow. Instead of doing that, what I often will do is just punch in and re-record. So let's go to that. Should you make a mistake as you're recording, and this happens a lot, you can click and then re-click the record button. So you click record to stop your recording, right? And let's say you wanna pull back here. This happens a lot. You can click so and you can then play in here where you were, and let's say right here for the start of this next slide, you just didn't like the way where you got to Phantom Studies. You didn't like how that slide started. So you then can click record again. Yes, you want to start, so click record, and then it'll do another three second countdown, and you can begin there. And it's going to overwrite whatever data or audio was there previously. When you've recorded your entire video essay, you can then export it as a video file. So to do that, you're gonna click File, and then you're gonna to go to Export To, and click Movie. You, I always go to 1080p, but you can do custom uh, settings on that. And then as far as playback, I always do slideshow recording rather than self-playing. Select 1080p, and then click Next. Then you'll select your designation and let that export, and then it will be a self-contained video file. You can drop that file into a video editor like Premiere Pro or Final Cut, or you can just directly upload it to YouTube. The process is quite similar in PowerPoint. You're gonna create your slideshow and build a corresponding set of notes or a script, and then you're gonna to need to record that. So to record, click slideshow right here. And then you're gonna go right below it to record slideshow. Unlike Keynote, PowerPoint will start recording immediately. So as soon as you click that, it's gonna start recording. And when you're done recording, you can click in the slideshow. So you know, let's say you've advanced through these slides, you're done, and then you made a mistake and you wanna stop, or you're all the way through, click in slideshow. To correct a mistake, just click on the slide where you'd like to overwrite the existing audio. Let's say here, well here, this indicates that you have audio. So you can click here, and then you can once again click record slideshow and it will start from this position here. And then you just work your way through the entire slideshow uh, coming to punch back in in case you have any mistakes. Otherwise just work all the way through to the end. To export your recorded presentation, you're gonna go up here to file and then click export. Then change your file format from PDF to either MP4 or MOV. It's gonna depend on if you're gonna be doing editing afterwards. 
So let's just go with MOV, let's say. And then you're gonna click export after choosing sort of these further parameters, you'll click export. Once your file has processed, you can either edit that further or you can upload it directly to YouTube.